Yeah, I was uh, really inspired today by uh, Herb's talk, so I thought I'd write something about dangling in French and English. And of course, I'm Canadian, and as you all know, Canada is bilingual. So I thought that I would present some code in French. So here's uh, a little bit of code in French, and you can see that there's a, a this is, by the way, this is all about a really, really subtle bug, and um, some of you may get there way before I do, but please bear with me. Um, so there's a, there's a vector of std strings there, and of course the first thing we do is push back some French. So that's say un chien, which is, uh, if you don't speak French, this translates, well at least Google tells me it translates to, is this a string? <laughs> and then we, uh, we grab a, a reference to that first string, and then we push back hello world, and then we see us, uh, did out, uh, see out uh, the first string and end with. And of course, when you run this, and you can run this, it outputs, uh, actually, I can't speak French, sorry, I'm supposed to learn it in high school, but it says, is this a string? Um, someone out there must speak French. So uh, because we are bilingual, I thought I'd do this in English as well. And so I said, uh, instead of pushing back the French, I would push back the, is it a string? And then I would do the exact same thing and uh, take the first and then push back hello world. And of course, everyone here knows that when you actually run this code, uh, the English version of it is segmentation for a portal. So uh, what's exactly going on here? Well, uh, <laughs> so if we take a look at the length of the strings, the uh, length of the French string is 18 because French is much more complicated than English. The length of the uh, English is only 15 characters. And so if we look at uh, std string, there's a small string optimization. And so if the length is less than 16, the data gets stored in the small string. Uh, this, this is just an approximation of std string. Um, otherwise, it's stored in data. So if we look at uh, the French, we store the this, this string as on the heap, and we store a pointer to that data on the string. If it's English, it gets stored in the small string. So when we look here, we've got a std vector, and we store the, the English on a string, and then we push back on the, the, uh, the vector. And so when you push back on the vector, of course, that will grow the vector and move the string. And so in French, we actually have that blue box is the std string, and it points to the, the, the string on the heap, and then that red box down there is char first, which is pointing to the same string, which you get out from CSER. And then when you grow the, the, uh, the uh, vector, the, that first string disappears and you get a new string and it's called std move and it moves it over. Or if you've got something that's uh, trivial, re trivially relocatable, I still can't say it. Um, it'll, it'll just mem copy it over. And the, the pointer to a first still points to the same place. But of course, if you uh, are pointing to an English string, it stores it in the, the string itself as the small pointer, uh, small data. And then when you realloc, that first is still pointing to that uh, stale memory, and you end up with the trash. So it's a really subtle bug. It took us a long time to figure out what was going on, um, because long strings worked and short strings didn't, and, and that's the reason why. So merci.